and welcome back to my Reading Rush vlogs. So, small confession, I did not do any vlogging on day three, as today's day four, because I didn't do any reading on day three. I spent literally the entire day focused on wedding things, and a lot of it was with my mom, so I couldn't even listen to my audiobook while I was doing it. So, there is not gonna be a like day three reading rush vlog. I still did the Instagram challenge, but my cat just hates getting her picture taken, so it did not turn out well, but anyway. So now I'm recording today because I finally finished a book. I know, day four and I'm finishing the first book. This is why I only did three books. <laughs> so, um, I finished The Gilded Wolves by Roshni Chakshi. I listened to that audiobook literally all day. And I think it was okay. So before anyone goes crazy being like, do you think it's just like Six of Crows or is it nothing like Six of Crows? I haven't read Six of Crows, so I can't make any comparison here. So just calm down, chill. Anyway, I feel like it really was just another thief story. And that the little magic of it didn't come into play. It was talked about more than it was used. And I know that, like, both Sophia and Leila both utilized their magic very strongly. One thing that struck me was that one of the characters reminds me a lot of Magnus from the... From... He reminds me a lot of Magnus from the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare, and I just largely got that vibe from him the entire way. I I mean, I don't have much to say about the books, I feel like it just wasn't actually that much. Like, I feel like some of the, like, deeper outside of the whole heist I did not connect to the story at all. So once the heist was done and it was like trying to pull all these, <gasps> I was like, I don't care that much because I didn't connect with the world as much as I was hoping to. Also, listening to the audiobook, so there were two uh, readers for it and they read all the normal things in like their regular American accents, um, but they had all of the characters speak with thick French accents and I was so confused because like if they're all living in France and they're all speaking French why do they all have French accents when the narration is gonna be not accented like it that threw me off a little bit but I adjusted quickly so I gave it three out of five stars because it wasn't bad I just didn't connect with it or any of the characters I don't know I kind of felt like it's your generic group of people you know you've got the pretty girl, the shy smarty girl, the overconfident guy, the leader guy, like, you know, I just, it didn't feel super unique. It just felt like every other book about a heist. And I feel bad saying that because I really wanted to like it, but I think that's why I don't like it as much because I, it was overhyped a little bit. So those are my opinions on that book. Um, I am only a couple chapters into The Secret Garden, but I'm gonna hopefully go do some more reading now. Uh, the third book that I wanted to read, The Princess Bride, I was gonna get that as an audiobook, but I just got a notification that I may not get the audiobook when I wanted it, so I may have to find another book, or I may have to, and this is for the watch a movie before you read the book prompt, so it's extremely limited in that I need to have seen or be able to see the movie now um, and then have access to the book. So I, I may have to switch it out, but I think the library closest to me has just started doing pickup out, outside, like pickup. So I might drive by there and see if I can't request it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to find something else to read. But until then... I'm just gonna focus on the secret garden and hopefully I'll get that done in a day or so. So we'll see. So that is my update right now. I'll update hopefully closer to the end of the day when I can say for sure this is how much I've read because I finally finished a book and so, woo! <laughs> um, yeah, so I will catch up with you guys later. So I'm sitting outside of the farm where my fiance works, which is a great place for me to read the secret garden because it's like, 
a farm, I'm surrounded by nature, and it's just very peaceful and relaxing to read this book. And I realized that it really wasn't a good idea for me to read it as a middle school because I had such a horrible impression of the character when I didn't understand her backstory all that well. So I think I'm gonna like the book a lot more because I now have a better understanding of her backstory because I understood that like her parents never really talked with her or cared for her but for some strange reason I didn't pick up on the fact that she was moving from India to England and that her parents were Englishmen who were living in India because history and I have such a better understanding of why she I thought she was so spoiled even though her parents didn't really love her like they should have, it was, it's culture difference, and I understand that now. So I'm like, I'm so glad, I'm still only 22 pages in, but I'm so glad that I understand that now, and that I'm giving it another go. So, there's my little update. Yeah, I'm gonna stop recording now and actually continue reading so I can get past the 20s. Because I'm reading this so slowly, but it's such a quick read. I just need to sit down and read it. So I'm gonna do that now. Bye!